guys, it's literally, it's like 12 a.m. right now. Or even like later, maybe like 1 a.m. But I just had this urge. She's here as soon as I turn on the camera. I just had this urge to knit a Racklin sweater. <laughs> so I took out my own yarn that I used to make my first ever sweater. And I'm casting on. And now I'm going to knit a Racklin <laughs> sweater at 1 o'clock in the morning. project trade guys this blue isn't it like the most gorgeous baby blue you have ever seen i know blue is like super in right now never know what to call crochet pieces but um this is just like a simple mesh cover-up that you can wear on top of your you know bikini tank tops and um, it's made with treble crochet mesh stitch so just treble crochet, chain one, skip one and then treble crochet to the next stitch just did like a one long piece so I started in the bottom like this and then I go all the way and then I split for you know what, I'm just gonna put it on just to show it. <laughs> yeah so split for the shoulders and then i connect them back again with a chain but it's just gonna look like this just like a flowy it's gonna look better without a t-shirt underneath but like just gonna be like a little see-through flowy mesh top for the summer gonna look really cute on top of um like tank tops bra tops or bikini so i'm not gonna like close the side i'm not gonna seam it together i'm gonna add like uh strings so like when you put it on and then you just like tie it together when i use i use this cotton yarn <laughs> i'm sorry let me find a label so i keep all of my labels um this is the the yarn 
that I use. I got it from Daiso. It was 175 for one 150 grams ball. I'll show you in my last video if you've seen it. I was gonna make like a Raglan baby tea for her. But because I feel like that's not really like a summer beachy vibes because she told me that she lives by the beach, like near the beach. So I thought I would make her like a cover up piece instead of a <laughs> Bracklin t-shirt. Also this yarn, it's like this really tiny, um, I think I would say this is like a sport or maybe DK. I would say this is like a DK weight sport weight yarn. Super light. The yarn itself is not like soft when you touch it but it's not rough either. It's not like tough on my hands and then I don't really feel like it's like you know that scratchy. It's 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 cotton so <laughs> that's how cotton feels like right? I would use this again and this is this blue. This blue is just so pretty. Yeah, I would definitely use this again. So yeah, that's my project trade. I'm gonna add the strings later. I'll show you what I make later. <laughs> I didn't show you the process of me making it because I feel like you've already seen it a billion times. But I also finished another wisteria pillow. This is also a commission piece for my friend. This is the biggest one I've made so far. He requested a black edge, so I delivered. And the yarn I used, you saw me last time I went to Joanne's to get this Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. I think it's perfect for this pillow, like this is the perfect size. I really like this size. This is the size comparison. <laughs> but yeah, this is for my friend, I used the Wu Yi's Thick and Quick, um, I think it's Wu and Acrylic Blend, and I use a 8mm hook with it. I use a total of 4, no, 3, I got 3 skeins um, at first, and then I ran out, I had like 2 petals left, and I ran out of yarn, which was so frustrating, but I had to go get the 4th one. And because I used a different yarn for the, the edge and seaming, but I feel like if you use the same yarn, this yarn for like um, the edges and the seams, it would have been exactly four skeins. So if you want to use this Woolies Thick and Quick for a wisteria pillow, I would recommend getting four. I think it would be the perfect amount. Yeah, that's that. I'm not, gonna talk about, I'm not gonna talk about this too much because you already know you already know so when I went to get um, the fourth ball of this Wu East I also saw this new loops and thread um, yarn this merino luxe luxe merino wool blend it is 55% super wash merino and then 45% acrylic. So, you know, this green. I had to pick it up. I just want to try it out, you know. New yarn. I'd say it's a light. Number three, light. But it feels kind of... So I guess this is like a DK weight as well. Yeah, I don't know. I might use this to make the, you know, the flower cutout backless top, maybe. But I also want to try and freehand a top as well. But I will show you what I end up doing with this. When I was making this pillow, this yarn, because it's wool and acrylic, it was really hot. Like, my hands were sweating. <laughs> my hands were sweating working on this. So, I don't know. I don't know about merino. I know acrylic can get pretty hot and heavy. Somehow with acrylic yarn, it makes me sweat a lot. Um, so I don't know if it's wool or acrylic or both. Because I read online, people say that merino is temperature regulating. So, I don't know. I'll give this a try. On the topic of like chunky 
wool knits. Um, you've seen I started a Braglin sweater. My needle is not long enough. The cord is not long enough, and then I cannot find uh, this needle size with a longer cord length. So I will have to deal with this until it gets to the body part. But this is a Raglan sweater. <laughs> it doesn't really look like anything right now, but I started this um, randomly <laughs> in the middle of, of the night. This yarn is the first ever ball of yarn that I bought. It was the Karen Sprinkle Cake. This was like the yarn for my first knitting project. It was my first project, so I didn't really know anything about like construction or measurements or like you know decreases increases i only knew how to make like a basic rectangle but yeah it was like my first attempt and the sweater it did not turn out the way i wanted to but i still really like this colorway so i put it aside and now that i am more experienced i wanted to pick it up again and then just knit a simple oversized raglan top with this yarn it is like a bulky weight i think you could say because i'm using eight millimeter needles so this is like super bulky chunky wool and acrylic blend but yeah this project makes my hands sweaty as well so i have to work on this when the ac is on full blast <laughs> I'm knitting while I'm talking to you. That's why I'm looking down. I also bought a bunch of new yarn. You know, guys, right now I'm really into knitting. For some reason, I'm really into knitting lately. <laughs> um, but yeah, I bought some new yarn for a specific knitting project. And I also picked up some drops yarn. Like summer drops yarn because I want to try out new fibers. So I'll show you when they get here and I will tell you what I plan. Oh yeah, I'll see you guys later. don't really look like stars but I will try to like make it sharper before I send it to her but this is the finished result I'm so excited
something is breaking me out, bro. But anyway, anyway, I have new yarn. My new yarns are here. So I thought I would show you what I got. Okay, not this so many. Wait. Okay, let's start with the yarn that I got for a specific project. I got this Mayflower Easy Cam Merino to make the pie camisole by Crea Dia Studio. The green. It was the green that got me. So I went to get the exact same yarn that was used in the original um, pattern. Let's show you the strand. I believe it's, it is a fingering weight. But when I saw the pattern, I was like, I need to make this. I need to make it. At first, I didn't realize the name is called Pai Kamiso because of the neckline and like the arm section. It looks like the Pai symbol, which I thought was super cute. And like the design of this top, I just feel like it looks really classy and sophisticated. But you can also dress down at the same time. You know what I mean? I feel like you can either like dress up or dress down with this top, which is why I really want to make it. And you know, the green, the green. So yeah, I'm going to make this. I got a total of five. I got five balls of this yarn. I think it should be enough. I'm not sure which, which size I'm going to make yet, but it's probably either medium or large. Um, I will look at all the measurements and then I'll let you know you'll see me in the next video when I cast this on because I want to finish my the other vest first. I'll show you later. But yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Um, I found this pattern through Amy from Knee Knits here on YouTube. She was talking about it in her summer inspo, summer knitting inspo video. The color, guys. I wasn't sure about using merino in the summer, so I DM Nyla and asked her if she had used uh, merino or like cotton merino to make uh, tank tops before because I remember she mentioned in one of her podcasts she was using like I think either merino or alpaca let me see she hasn't tried it but she did buy some to test it for a tank top and I've seen a lot of people use merino or cotton merino blend to make tank tops so you know what I will just give it a try in this heat I feel like anything would make me sweat as long as the fabric itself doesn't heat me up that's fine I'm fine with it so I would give this a try and then I also got a bunch of drops yarn drops cotton merino blend I got two colors this Toby and the green guys okay the screen does not look like what it looks like on the website I'm not sure if I like this green to be honest. It's a little too cool tone for my liking. And then I also got this taupey gray beige color. I get two of each. I don't know what I want to make with them yet. I was going to make like a t-shirt like a raglan t-shirt but i don't know about this green honestly i'm not sure about this green i wanted to make like a stripey top thing but like guys are we vibing with this is this a vibe what do we think i don't know just want to try this out uh cotton merino i like cotton but like i just don't like how it's not that stretchy and like springy, you know? So I just wanna try out the merino, cotton merino blend. I had so many applies today. I also got a bunch of drops bell. Oh my god, I got three colors. This green, I like this green. This is my kind of green. And then I also get, I also got this like a beigey white off white cream color. You know what, I might make a t-shirt in this combo instead. 
a stripy t-shirt in this couple instead of the dark green <laughs> Remember the backless top that I was like trying to make so many times? Yeah, I got this I got this yarn to make that again I will give it one more try and see how it turns out with um, a drapier smaller weight yarn I think this is a DK weight and it is a cotton viscose and linen blend I also got this color this really like cute like gorgeous muted pink rosy color to make another uh, wildflower bandana this was the yarn that was used in the original pattern the design so I wanted to try this out I feel like this is a dupe for Santa's garn Line? Line? yeah because they have really similar blends of fibers so yeah I got two of this color almond rose and then I got five of the green and then five of this like creamy beige off-white color that was all the yarn that I got I'm almost done with my vest so I'm on the, f the front panels right now I'm almost done with the first one but guys look at the colors just look at the colors summer sunset and I'm still on the first I'm still on the first ball of Finoro I have another ball of this from the first cake that I wanted up so yeah I feel like one cake would be enough because like the front section is kind of small and like I don't have to make the sleeves and stuff so yeah that's I'm almost done with this once I'm done with this I will cast on the pie camisole which I'm very excited about I'm so excited to work on that project one last thing I want to update you guys on my little raglan sweater this is the progress I have already split for the sleeves and then I'm on to the body part right now which is like so fun super fun it's like mindless but fun at the same time I don't know how to explain it um, but guys look at all this <laughs> she be changing color every two seconds but that's all the ends but we will worry about that later for that project I have been using the leftover of the yarn now that I have used up all of that yarn, um, I'm at the part where I need to actually frog my sweater. So I thought I would document this one last time for the mems. For the mems. You guys ready? This is the first sweater that I made. Guys, what is this? What is going on? <laughs> Can you see the dialogue change? And then like, what is this random purple stripe in the middle of a green section? And the red? Guys, I don't even know what was going on with this red. It's like a different yarn. It's not even from the same ball of yarn. I added this in myself. <laughs> I was like playing with all the designs. And also like the sleeves. Oh wait, okay, fine. I will, sh I will wear it. I will put it on just to show you. Do you see how badly it fits? <laughs> and the back and the front doesn't even match. And the seam. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so much. There's so many things going on right now. And like the sleeve is like way too big and then too short and then like the body is just okay guys i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it this was my first project and i'm proud of it okay i did it with no patterns no i only knew how to knit i didn't even know how to purl so that's what i did this is where it all started but now it's time to say goodbye 
I'm gonna turn her into something. I'm gonna give her a glow up. So, I will insert a clip at the end of this video of me frocking this and then, you know, saying goodbye to my first ever sweater. And also, this red, she's not going into the new sweater. This is like one of the worst yarn I have ever used. So, this is gonna be going inside a wisteria pillow. So, stick her out because it's really hot in here. I'm gonna be frogging this later. And also, I think I'm going to end the vlog here as well. I feel like I haven't like sit down and talk for a very long time but I just want to thank you guys so much for being here I want to thank everybody for subscribing and you know watching my videos let me know what you guys are working on in the comments while watching this because I always love to read them and yeah I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this I'll see you guys very soon